comes to Ukrainian President Zelensky, well, he's condemning Canada for returning the Russia-Germany pipeline turbines. And that was an announcement that was made this past weekend. We covered it on Monday. But this seems to be circulating, and the president of Ukraine is not backing down on this. Uh, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is personally, personally condemning Canada over its decision to grant a Canadian company a time-limited revocable permit. Uh, there are sanctions put in place against Russia, and this is, in a way, bypassing those sanctions which allows the return of turbines from the, um, from the Russian pipeline that supplies natural gas to Germany. And President Zelensky said that Canada's decision is about more than wrongly deciding to hand over the turbines. It was an absolutely unacceptable exception to the sanctions regime against Russia as part of his statement. His statement continues to say that if a terrorist state can squeeze out such an exception to sanctions, what expectations will it want tomorrow or the day after tomorrow? This is a very dangerous situation. This question is very dangerous, according to Zelensky. And this is the video that he said in. It's, he speaks in his own language. There are subtitles in English, which is what I'm reading in terms of his statement. He also says the decision on the exception to sanctions will be perceived in Moscow exclusively as a manifestation of weakness. Manifested weakness on part of Canada is what he's referring to. This is their logic, and now there can be no doubt that Russia will try not to just limit as much as possible, but to completely shut down the supply of gas to Europe as the most acute mo moment. And uh, this comes as these turbines, there's six parts of them, uh, they're part of the Nord 1 Stream Turb uh, Pipeline, and it's been sent to Siemens Canada and Montreal for repairs, but uh, uh, as they stay dormant, now the federal government who has imposed sanctions on Russia is now returning those turbines to Germany and Germany will then return them to Russia. In a way, Canada's saying that they're not in, you know, bypassing on their sanctions because it's going via Germany, but you tell us what you think and join in on the conversation.